adventure seekers. For those who don't know me yet, I am Alina and I am taking you guys with my videos on my adventures around this planet. This time we are in Croatia or to be precise, we are in Split right now. And in this video, I am going to show you around this city of Split. You can see it here in the background. I haven't seen that much of Split yet, but what I've seen seems to be really beautiful. Let's go to the city center now. I will take you with me through the tour. Let's go. Okay, I'm currently walking along the port, which is here on this side, and there are a lot of offers here. Lots of offers for boat tours. There are various tours that take a few hours or even the whole day. Depends on what you want and how much time you have and also how much money you want to spend, of course. But there are a lot of offers here on the promenade. And then on this side, there are the boats that you can take. Another thing that I found there on the harbor that I thought was kind of cool are these benches. Here you can charge your phone while waiting for your tour to start and they work with solar energy and are completely free to use. Thing that Croatia has to offer are a lot of beautiful national parks. You can see some offers here behind me. In those offices they offer tours, day tours to the national parks. They offer rafting and also a tour to waterfalls. Split itself is not that big. From the harbor, you quickly reach the old historical part of the city. Along the promenade, you will find this little map of the old town of Split. We started our walk along the promenade here. The center of Split itself is not big at all. You can easily walk through it. And I do recommend you to take a walk along the revolve Split the promenade that is in front of the old town. It is a beautiful place, well maintained and with a lot of colorful plants. There are also a lot of cute cafes and restaurants, but be careful here. They are super expensive. I bought the most expensive ice cream of my life there. At least it was delicious, but way too expensive anyway. And locals say that people there try to rip you off by selling you basically cheap food of low quality while asking for a price that is about three times as outside of the old town. So if you want to enjoy the view, go for it and pay for the view. But do not expect the most delicious and most traditional food in this area of Split. The first impression of this city is it's really beautiful. There's a lot of plants here in the city center which makes it really nice and cute. There are a lot of options um, to eat, lots of cafes, restaurants and bars. Yeah, you've seen the, the harbor, you, you see the waterfront here. It's just really beautiful. You have the mountains in the background and then, well, the beautiful sea right in front of the city and this really beautiful old town. I think it's definitely worth a visit so far. You can find all the most important sites here in the city center, which is the old part of the city. Wow, guys, so far I am impressed by the beauty of the city. Make sure to get lost in its old town. There are lots of tiny, super cute streets. Make sure to take your time here to walk through the streets and explore it all. And of course, in a touristic city such as Split, there are a lot of souvenir stores on the streets, so make also sure to take your time here because it's always fun to explore those cute little typical things from different countries, right? In the old town as well, you will find a lot of restaurants. They look super inviting, but it will be similar expensive as on the Riva. So think twice if you are fine with just paying for the view or if you prefer to have high quality and traditional food at another place outside of the old town. Besides that, I really enjoyed getting lost in all of these tiny and cute streets. Look at all of these super tiny and small streets. They are super narrow at some parts, but it's super beautiful. I am absolutely in love with this place, guys. The architecture of the old town is super beautiful and impressive. Split also comes with a lot of history. The old town is a very historical place. In its center, you will find statues of important Croatian people, but also see lots of Roman influences. That actually is clearly visible in the architecture. 
Even though the city has originally been founded by Greeks and used to be a Greek colony, today its architecture resembles more an Roman Empire. And that is because later on Romans came into power in that region and the Emperor Diocletian has instructed to build an opulent and heavily fortified palace to retire there. It is huge and for some parts you will have to pay an entrance fee. Others are walkable for free as the palace is integrated into the old town. Its south faces the sea and it looks more like a military fortress than a palace. Here behind me you can now see the Diocletian's palace which is a palace that has been built for a Roman Empire, which is also why it has the typical Roman style. It is definitely a must-see if you come here to split because it's very symbolic for the city. There is the option to enter this palace for an entrance fee, of course, but you can also see a lot of areas of this palace already here from the outside and it's super impressive. Some of you guys might actually recognize this place somehow. And there's a reason for that. This place and Split in general, as well as many other cities in Croatia, have been used as famous spots in different movies and also famous series such as Game of Thrones. It is super impressive and a very interesting place and I really enjoyed walking through it a lot. There is a subterranean part of the palace that you can visit for free. It will lead you to the southern part of the palace and therefore towards the sea. And down there you will find some markets where you can buy some souvenirs. It was fun to explore the market and to see some typical souvenirs from Split. And it was quite big down there, definitely way bigger than I had expected. This part is quite big and you can explore it even more by paying an entrance fee to enter all of the basement halls. When we got out of the basement we were back on the Rivao split and therefore back on the waterfront. I really wasn't expecting the city to be that beautiful. To be honest I didn't know that much before about Croatia. But I'm already in love with the city. It is amazing and you definitely have to put it on your bucket list for your next summer destination. There is one more place that I would like to show you here in Split. This one is for those of you who need some time to relax and just want to soak in some sun. Croatia is famous for lots of beautiful beaches and Split does have a city beach that is only a few minutes walking distance from the city center. And even though it may not be the most beautiful beach on earth, it is still a really nice and quick getaway from the busy city center. All right, this is the last stop for today. We are here at the city beach that is right here behind me. Of course, this beach is not the most beautiful here in this area. There are beaches that are way better. But anyway, I wanted to show you this place because it's always nice to have a beach, right? And it's only 15 minutes walking from the city center. So it's super close and definitely worth a visit. Now, I have further videos prepared for you. I have two more. And the next one is going to be the one about the beaches here in the area of Split. I'm going to show you around some islands, some insanely beautiful beaches. So please do not miss out on that next video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and also make sure to support my work and give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And leave me all of your comments below in the comment section and I will answer all of them later. And I hope to see you in the next video.